Welcome back, you guys. This is the Syndrap. Continuing my... Well, not continuing. Uh, basically, I'm going to be restarting my Hoi 4 campaign as America. Because I kind of botched it. Um, I'm going to do things a bit differently this time around. I'm still going to go fascist. Uh, let's see. Do we take this off? Well, we'll keep this on. So, we're still gonna go fascist. That is a given. And then we're also gonna focus more on the Civil War. Now that I know that the Civil War is coming, we're gonna do things a lot more differently. And I roughly know where it's gonna pop. So, we're gonna cheese it a bit, I suppose. And we're not really gonna worry about the naval game until after the Civil War. How about that? So for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this again. Let's see. Uh, this is the National Guard Divisions, and these are the regular infantry. Let me just give you a star. And this is the Garrison Brigade. So what we want, and what we failed to do last time, was we need to get the free cores. Before the Civil War pops, or ideally during it, we need this to be done so we can raise extra troops because we're drastically outnumbered by the time we get there. So if we do this one, we're going to have to go down this one quickly. And this one here, Seize Cuba and Manifest Destiny. That's just, This is stuff we're going to do after the Civil War. I might decide to do uh, the Neutrality Act, but... To be perfectly honest with you, I don't really want to waste time doing this. Apparently, both of these require you to be democratic. So, no. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and grab the Pentagon here. And we're not going to worry about it. We're going to wait until we got some stuff. No, 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 no. We're going to do things like this. And we're going to change you to the Doctrine. Yes. Good. Uh, civilian factories. Well, I need guns. Lots and lots of guns. And we're going to build them here in my main area. For now, at least. This is going to be like the main area during the Civil War. They're going to pop up here in New England. The, uh, the Loyalist? The Constitutionalists. They're going to rise up over here and they're going to rise up on the West Coast. We'll just have to see how good we can get this. Uh, all of these different... <sighs> no. Just go away. I'm not really going to worry about you. Basically, I'm just going to put all of you into convoys. Because we might get some uh, backup from like Hitler and from Italy. So, what I want is definitely guns. And then we'll do three and three. Or two and two, and then we'll try to get as many guns as we can. The artillery and the support equipment come later. So let's put it on speed five. And I'm not going to go through all of the events again. Some of them I might read, but I'm mostly not going to worry about it. Uh, this is put Patton in charge. Let's see, we need uh, 12 of you, like this. Yeah, Dwight D. Eisenhower. Go ahead and take control of this. And then we'll have Omar Bradley here. So, we kind of want to change this into something more like this. If we change them all into the Garrison Brigade, and then we can then make a whole bunch of these dudes. So, if I change all of you to this guy, and all of you to this guy, and then we just start pumping out a whole bunch of these guys. Yeah, just keep doing it. Just pop them out here in Texas. That's all I want you to do. So, we're lacking quite a few guns. Yeah. We're going to keep losing and gaining, gaining senators. I'm not going to worry about it. Ideally, I would like the shovels gone as well, because um, I just want a bunch of divisions. That is it. We'll see how well that goes. Do it like this. Okay, so we got the start, at least, uh, done. Home of the Free, the Great Depression. We do want that done. 
We're not gonna worry about that either. The Navy... Do we care? There are a bunch of task force... Or task... Uh, no, battle forces. And then there's the... Uh, different dudes underneath that. Hmm. Well, let's not worry about it. We'll just keep you guys docked for now. Eight ships and zero capital ships. Huh. So there's not a single capital ship in any of these? That can't be true. So the War Department is done. Give me the Pentagon, please. So what we're going to use our points on, uh, our political points, I'm not entirely sure. Like, I wasted a bunch of them, like, granting statehood. We don't need that. We definitely do not need that. And also, like, the research give refuge to Italian scientists. We're definitely not doing that. I know better this time around. So hopefully we'll do this better. So we have to wait until the election in November to ditch uh, Franklin here. Uh, we're not going to worry about this war plans division. We could do that one, but not the uh, the other ones. We don't need that. It gives us planning speed. No, it gives us chief of army available, dude. So that's completely useless. It might even be better to go for the air stuff. Eh, maybe not. So we need the support of 58 senators. We have that. And 261 representatives. We don't have that. Okay, well, that's a fine. We'll wait. Uh, yeah. We start out quite weak. But that's uh, that's Franklin's fault. Fuck that guy. Spain goes to war. Give me concentrated. We want... No, no, no. We want it uh, dispersed. Yeah. We want that retention. Because we might have to swap back and forth a bunch of factories. Again and again and again. So the second London Naval Treaty has been signed. Yep, I don't mind. Ooh, I keep losing representatives. So I cannot do this one. That kind of sucks. But we can keep doing this. We can go up to the Department of Defense. It increases our command power, but our war support is garbage. So this is this this is not gonna. It's gonna take forever for this to fill out. To fill up. Sorry, I'm kind of excited. I'm also kind of angry that I lost the last campaign, or I didn't... I just abandoned it. I could have, like, reloaded and tried again, but I'd rather just restart and do things fresh. Also, since I'm not going to worry about the ships, I'm going to take more care of the planes. So, if I sort it like this... Everybody get over here. Let's see what we have. We had a bunch of naval bombers and shit, which was uh, fine, I suppose. Construction is done. We do not need you. We do not need you. Uh, this will be fine. We can use that. Everybody merge up. Is that all of them? Uh, no, the Hawaiian ones are not here yet. Well, it takes a while to get here. And that should be them. Okay. Naval bombers, tactical bombers, close air support, and fighters. So, air superiority and close air support. Uh, just go on this guy for now. You're also going to go on this guy, and you are just going to go naval strike. Go here, and just, I don't know, take care of Florida. We're not going to worry about you. So, we almost have all the guns. We have all the guns, we're just lacking support equipment. Let's go ahead and drill you guys now. And as soon as we get five army experience, we're ditching the uh, engineer company. We might actually just make a duplicate and ditch this. Nah, not empty. Uh, duplicate, ditch this. We'll change this to this, maybe. And then we'll save it once we can. It's not going to be here for a while. It's fine. You guys are mostly ready. I can just pump you out. And then just go train. 
Yeah. Let me give you a general. We're going to have a bunch of divisions. Just a whole bunch of them. We are prioritizing the uh, the guns to the, uh, to the to the units that are already deployed. They're going to have guns. So this is going to fill up a bit slowly. But that's fine. I don't know if this is good or bad, having a whole bunch of these, but it's fine for now. So, we're not really going to pick anything else. Yeah, I think I'll just sit on my hands for now. Stockpile up to some political power. Because there's some things I want to change. So, we got the Pentagon. And we got the Department of Defense. So, our maximum command power has been increased to 150. Yeah. We got 50 representatives. It's still not enough for this. I need 61 more. Damn. That's pretty bad. But I don't really want to do anything here. So we can pay 50 to get 25 representatives. No. So this one was really, really cheap. I did the math on that. This one is really, really cheap. It's like... What was it? Nine? It was, it was really, really... Um, it was nine political power. So if I do this... It barely affects us. And it will give us 25 representatives. Because I do want this. It changes us to limited conscription. And then I suppose we could go for this. We could go for the land doctrine, that's actually pretty nice. Give me more guns, more, more, more guns. And after that, just give me the rest. Okay, we're done with this. It's still 1936. Which is... Fine. Now we don't need this. Give me the field hospital and logistics, just in case. Am I moving too fast? Should be fine. So it's October, there's going to be elections now. And we're up to 100 political points. Which is good. We could do a small lobbying support again. But it's fine. We'll wait until after the election to see where we stand. You're actually done? Nice! Just keep filling them up with military factories. Please. More and more and more. No, it's, it's November, sorry. November is the election. Ooh, thank you. But we're about to ditch uh, Franklin over here. We'll see where we stand after that. Uh, let's just push you all out. Give you a general. You're actually missing some dudes? Ah, oh, you didn't get all of them. Well, that's fine. What if we... Uh, let's see, 12. We min minimize this to uh, 16. We could then fill out the rest. So you get 4 and you get 12. That's fine. Okay, so, Republicans. Democrats do not win. We go Republican. The people have spoken. Thank you. So, we go with reestablish the gold standard. Thank you very much. 250 political power. So, we got the standard oil of California for free. Um, hmm. So, I do not have the fascist demagogue. Let's wait. I'm gonna wait until this is done, and then I can... I have to do America first to get him, don't I? Yeah, I do. So, I need more senators. Okay, we'll do a small lobbying effort. So we want this to be in the vast majority, so we can do all of our shady little things. 
Uh -huh. We're still democratic, like 99% democratic. It's going to take a long time to shift over to fascist. And I might actually make this a little bit of a longer episode. So uh, I have to dive back into this. Actually, let's go ahead and pick Omer Bradley here. He is very, very expensive. But I want him. I really, really want him. So we're actually losing political power. That's fine, but we're gaining army experience passively. This is exactly what I wanted. Nice. Okay, so we have enough to uh, edit you. Duplicate. Uh, do this, and then do this. Oh, it's 10 because we're removing a support battalion. It's fine. Can I push all of you out? Let's see, you guys go here, and then we do this. Okay. Just give me more. Okay, we'll do one more at least. Very, very nice. The support equipment is severely lacking, but once we uh, change this division, we'll be fine. And with Omar Bradley, it's going to be a lot quicker, because just him alone is double that of our army exercising. Which is quite nice. So we got the gold standard. Uh, we'll go for this right away. So America first. Um, we need support of more representatives. Not much. A few more. This one finished. It is 1937, so we can do more industry. Thank you. More senators? I need more representatives, please. This will change us from the Great Depression to slow recovery. And we lose a few senators and representatives. It's fine. We can do this one. We get massive support from the Senators and the Representatives. Enough for us to do this one next. So this one is not going to move. We can't do this one until we hire the, the, the Fascist Demagogue. Which is fine. Ooh, we got 50 more. So we have enough Representatives, but not enough Senators. Let's do a small lobbying effort then. A small one should tip up the scales. We're gonna get 5 and then 25. Logistics and field hospital is done. I got roughly an idea of what I want to do here. We want to win the Civil War, definitely. I want to change you now. Okay, let's do that. So we do... Uh, duplicate, remove this, and then save. So we're going to change all of you into this. You're going to all change into this. And we're going to stockpile up some support equipment. So all of the divisions that the enemy is going to get is basically going to be six wide. Because they get like a portion of my army. <laughs> so they're going to get six wide divisions, which is just crap. And in the meantime, we're stockpiling up a bunch of support equipment. We should be, at least. The only ones getting it should be you guys, but you're going to ditch it as soon as you're done. So if I do this, we change you over. We do this. And then we got support equipment surplus. Thank you. Um, let's get the Great Depression uh, debuff gone first. Since we can can do that one, that's fine. So once I get to nine, I should be able to click this, right? Or close-ish? No, I need to have more than ten. Okay. I've got 10 exactly, so I need 11. And gimme. 
Come on. There we go. Thank you. You need a general? Beautiful. So we got five generals with 24 divisions each. And this is my current manpower, so that's fine. They all have guns, which is amazing. We just lost four senators. Does that mean that canceled this? No? It didn't cancel it. That's good. It's very, very good. Okay, so I was worried that if we lose the required senators or representatives, it would just cancel out the national focus. But it doesn't do that, which is uh, nice. It's nice. 1937. Now, I'm not entirely sure. Um, no? Huh. <laughs> Wait, what? What do I do now? Uh, sure? Uh, we can get up the radio. That's something we could do. Okay, the Chinese United Front. Uh, the Japanese have not declared war yet. Marco Polo Brit Incident and the Hindwerk crashes. Well, it usually does that, doesn't it? Is that like a 50 50? Or is it more likely that it crashes? Thank you, 50 representatives. So we got House support, and the Senate is, well, it's exactly down the middle, I think, yeah. So I'm gonna do this one again. Okay, and then we do this one, and then we should have massive support. Absolutely, like, one-sided. China is not gonna like us, but we don't really care. So we should also have a penalty here for 180 days, extra consumer goods. But that's fine, we still got enough to build factories. Okay, so we're missing six from our production here. Zaibe Sanma. So people are all joining the uh, Liberation Front. So Yunnan has not joined and Shangxi has not joined. Yeah. Well, they might. They might all decide to join as soon as Japan goes to war with them. Usually, Japan does quite well early on, and then they just lose it. So I don't think I need to do any more lobbying support. I think we're done. I think once we finish this, with this, we're going to have the majority for the foreseeable future. And Amelia Earhart disappears. So both Hindenburg and Amelia Earhart are both gone from this world. Press F in the uh, comments below. Right? Isn't that a thing? Uh, it is 1937. Um, I, I guess we could do this and we could grab the tank. It's mostly because we got nothing else really to go for. There we go. And the war tension, the world tension, has gone up drastically. The opposition suffers defeat. Thank you. So we got Senate support. Thank you. And we're about to get a massive amount of support here. So once we get up to 150 again, uh, political power that is, we can then hire our fascist dude and then we can start doing this. Because nothing is going to start happening until we have the fascist in charge. So Xinjiang and Yunnan both joined. Yeah, I figured. So, yeah. So we'll go for Labor Management Relations Act. We get a few, a little bit of opposition, but look at that. Senate and House support is drastically in my favor, which is nice. And then we start stockpiling you... So we can get some more stuff here. Because Omar Bradley was really, really expensive. Thank you. I wish this would give me something passively, like st stability or like political power. Probably don't. Uh, 1937. 
I don't know what to go for here. I don't want to go for heavy tank. That's a waste. I need to finish this before I grab the carrier variant. Tactical bomber? Sure. What do you want? Modify government. Well, I want the fascist demigod, so we're saving up for that guy. And we keep gaining army experience, which I like. All of you are a really, really leveled up. And I don't think the uh, army ex exercise is going to give us much more than this. But let's see, if I train another 24... That's fine. We'll just keep pumping them out. Why not? Maybe we'll put them on the Canadian border this time around. There's a lot of a lot of armies, a lot of divisions on the Mexican border. Arrest General Cedillo. Uh, support him or arrest him. Okay. Interesting. Knights of Columbus. State education. You went with state education rather than going for knights? What's wrong with you? Ah, uh, that's weird. Well, let's finish this. And then... We'll just continue going down this route, no matter what. So I want line artillery. Definitely. Yeah. Eventually, we want line artillery. Uh, Labor Management Relations Act? No, no, no. Once we get down to here, this should fix the, uh, the economy. So do this. So we'll just push you guys out. You guys are ready. Just put you in a new theater here. Give you a general. I don't know, we'll do something like this. And you will drill. Let me give you a field marshal. I don't care. We'll have Douglas in charge of that one. Is this the right choice? Maybe. Maybe. I'm hoping I'll have a whole bunch of guns stockpiled up before I do this. And seeing as I'm drilling them as they come out, they, they start out green because I pushed them out early. But they're going to be level 3. Before the Civil War, I hope. Or maybe the enemy will steal them and they'll, then they'll be regulars for the enemy. Which is uh, not great. 25 representatives. Ooh, look at this. Look at the support we're getting. You see, people want to be fascists. I don't understand. They don't seem to mind. So this is going to go away on the 23rd. So that's a few days from now. We should get a few more factories then. Working on our war uh, military factories. Yeah, we got eight. That's that's quite nice. Thank you. We've got a thousand convoys. We're gonna lose a bunch of them when the war starts, but uh, it's fine. Three more factories for the artillery. Well, good luck with that, Italy. I wish you the best of luck. Let's push you guys out again. So, let's see. We do this. We do this. They're going to start drilling immediately. And I still have generals to pick from. Which is amazing. So it's basically 1938. So let's just do this slightly ahead of time. We'll do this one slightly ahead of time. So we're waiting for 150 here, so we can start doing the fascist dude. Which is what I would like. So we change trade laws to export focus. Replace slow recovery with slow economic growth. This is still quite bad. But our political power should drastically increase. So reduce the effect of the Great Depression. Extend the tax breaks. It's fine. 
Okay, so we have enough to continue this? Yeah, just keep pumping military factories here. I'm gonna need to defend this land very, very hard if I, if I want to win the Civil War. And hopefully, the Constitutionalist will not be able to join the fucking Allies this time around, which was so unfair. And the music is way too dramatic, in my opinion. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Representative from Kentucky offers support. Invest in the infrastructure of Kentucky. Sure. Where's Kentucky? I'm not sure. There we go. So once we do this, we should get support there. Where is it? An additional level of infrastructure has been constructed in Kentucky. So just by building it once, we get a bunch of support. You're done. 1938. Um, we're doing this. Do this one as well. We're going to be ready for this civil war. Mark my words. Pump you out as well. Uh-huh. We still have a bunch of generals to spare. We've assigned eight, and we still got more to come. And we still have guns. We still have more than enough guns. We're making uh, 160 of them a day, and we're technically not capped. We're very, very close. We're like 5% off from being capped in our production efficiency. Which is nice. I mean, yeah, let's go ahead and hire our fascist demagogue. Hello. Indian National Congress triumphs in provincial elections. Ah, I think we have full support now. Yeah, we got full house support. Damn. Yeah, because we invested in the infrastructure of Kentucky as well. So that's just, we're done. I don't think we need to worry about Congress anymore. And I don't think we need to worry about this tab that much anymore. At least for now. So you need 20% support before I can do anything with you. And we are right now at 6, 7%. Okay, the Panay incident. Oh right, this is the boat again. The gunboat USS Panay came under fire early today while evacuating civilians from the front line in the war between Japan and China. Despite being clearly marked with American flags, struck with two bombs, she sank later that day with the three U.S. citizens, with three U.S. citizens killed and many more wounded. Survivors were picked up by American and British gunboats in the area. Japan has been quick to claim it was an accident and offer an apology, but some think that the attack was deliberate, and a number of advisors are calling for war. However, public support for war remains low, and any declaration is likely to be deeply. Divisive. How should we respond? We'll demand compensation and get some war support, which is always nice. Income tax reform, and then we get our extra research slot, which is fine. Uh, ooh. Thank you for the political points. Let's go ahead and max the infrastructure and in all of these before we do more. The fall of Nanjing. Give me this. Give me this guy as well. Okay. Because they're cheap and they help us with political power. 1.3 per day. That is a ridiculous amount of political power we're gaining. And we need to wait until you hit 20 before we can do anything there. Empower the HUAC. So we get the anti-communist crusader. Investigate the opposition. We lose stability. This will move you closer to a civil war. Ensures a comfortable majority in Congress. This majority will be restored in any future elections. If it should be lost in the meantime. Yeah. We get protests in the capital. That's okay. 
1938. Uh, shit. Yeah, sure. We'll go for the steward. How much do I need for that? I need 15% support from the Civil Legion to do this. It's fine. I need 20 for this, and I need 30 for this one. So I'm going to start by doing this one. And then we go here, and then we try to plow through all of this as fast as we can. Yeah. Hopefully everything will go fine in that regard. The Anschluss of Austria. Okay, you're finished. I guess I'll just put you guys here. Give you a general. You're actually finished your training. You're trained. That's fine. We'll do one more. So we'll have two field marshals with five generals. Every single one of them with 24 divisions. <laughs> that might be slightly overkill, but that's fine. At least it will make for an interesting civil war, won't it? So as soon as you're done, I'm just gonna pop you out. I think I can go ahead and tell you guys to stop drilling. You, on the other hand, need to finish drilling some more. So we got an extra science uh, slot. We'll empower the HUAC. And what do I do with you? Oh man, more choices. Give me this. And I don't know. Strategic bomber? Sure. We might decide to strategically bomb some places. At least in the future. This does nothing. So I think I might choose like the army dudes right now. Because we can get division attack and division defense. And we can also get extra division attack. It should be pretty good. Yugoslavian fighter competition. Uh, the Yugoslavian Air Force is currently holding trials for a new light fighter. According to our air attaché, our newest model is poised to win. A formal request from the Yugoslavian government is expected shortly. Representatives of the manufacturer are strongly in favor of the sale, but these there are national security concerns about selling our most modern equipment to a foreign country. We get air experience, or... Yeah, sure. I don't mind. I don't mind. It's not a lot. Probably not enough to do anything, but... Why not? Come on. What could possibly go wrong? Let's get up to 150 and grab Mark W. Clark over here. Thank you. I think I'll just push you guys out, and I think we're done with... Training. Not for good, but for a while. Oh, you joined the wrong one. Yeah. Okay, so you're gonna drill. So if I tell you to stop, but I tell you guys to keep drilling, you guys drill, and you guys drill. The rest of you are done. So I have quite a few divisions. I should be able to see the total here. 240. Yeah, it's, it's 24 times 10. I got it. I got it. I can do simple math. I think. We'll do this. Computing machine. We'll grab decryption. I think we are ready for a civil war, maybe? Maybe? So, we did build the infrastructure here. So, that's good. Uh, let's see. What if we do something like this over here? As well. That should be fine. Don't care. We'll do... Something like that. We'll stop with this. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to queue up too many things here. But we got like 66 factories right now. Civilian factories building stuff. That is quite nice to see. 
And the Great Depression is mostly okay. So the Silver Legion is at 20%. Uh, do I need to worry about this? Now nah, we'll do we'll ally with the silver shirts. Yeah, because um, I need to get to these as fast as I possibly can. I can't wait. I can't wait. Civil War. I'm so excited. Uh, heavy fight? No, what do we do? Yeah, sure. Heavy fighter. Why not? Disperse support. Okay, so we can continue the doctrines at least. We're making nothing except this. Armored divisions. Uh, that's not that good. Yeah, we're stockpiling up a bunch of guns, which is very, very nice. Could we get the Tommy gun unlocked before the war? I kind of doubt it. Because I would love to have the Tommy guns. It would make my infantry so much better. And we're stockpiling a bunch of artillery, so hopefully we can take advantage of that as well. That should be pretty good. Oh. I don't care. The house is, is completely in, on our side here. So you guys are done. You guys are also done. Okay. So we got 38 uh, army experience. And Omar Bradley is going to continue to give us a bunch more. That's the Stuart done. We'll do encryption as well. That should be fine. We're really plowing through this, like, the early game here. Ooh, France and Britain. So Germany got the Kbemo. Hungary restores, uh, renounces the Treaty of Trianon. Hungary joins the Axis, and France and Britain announce an alliance. So things are really kicking off over here. So Germany unslushed Austria. They haven't taken uh, the Sudetenland. I can't see what they're doing. But usually, like, this, this thin thing here all around uh, Czechoslovakia usually gets taken. Algerian France. What are you doing? Okay, so they're building up, like, stuff over here, which is fine, I suppose. Ally with the silver shirts. Yeah, I don't really care if you don't like it. Invite foreign support. Let's go with... Uh, the extra attack? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Search for foreign supporters. I uh, don't care. We are losing a bit of support, but we still have a ridiculous majority. I don't think we really need to worry about it. Honestly, I don't think we do. I want to start the tummy gun. I want I want the tummy gun. And we'll start also with industry ahead of time. I just want to get it done. So what do we have? We've got 25% support here. Seize Cuba. Wow. Well, Mexico gets the United States demands treaty of consultation and friendship. Does that mean we just eat them? Huh. Secure Asia. Siam, Netherlands, and France. France gets the, in the United States demands Indochina. The Civil War is over. Yay. Netherlands gets US demands control over colonies. Damn, we're going to be such a bully. Assuming we win the Civil War, I shouldn't assume that I will. Election to Congress, it doesn't really matter, does it? Does it? I think I've done most of the things that require that. I mean, I could do the small lobbying thing, because it's really, really cheap. The Munich Agreement is what? Is that the Sudetenland? I think it is. 
This is done. Okay. We'll just continue to do industry ahead of time, slightly. So did you demand it? Yeah, they took this dead land. Okay. They usually do. I don't really care. So, do Mississippi, and then we do... I don't know, we'll do three, and then... Something like this? I do like my symmetry, don't I? Alabama. You gotta say it like that, right? You gotta say Alabama. And infrastructure, Florida. There should be enough queued up stuff here. Invite foreign support. Let's send Lindbergh to Germany. So, uh, where is this thing about asking for support? Invite, invite what? Invite donations from Italian sources. Japanese sources, German sources. They refuse to allow donations. Okay, what about Italy? They approve. We get one off-map civilian factory. And Japan refused us. So we spent 75 political power for one off-map civilian factory. Oh, god damn it. If I had known what that did. Shit. So. Ooh, search for foreign supporters. Acquire Italian weapons. Set up training camps in Italy. Set up flight schools in Italy. So we, because Italy decided to support us, we get a bunch more stuff we can do here. We could support Italy. They could be our buddies. I kind of like that idea. I don't really need political power for much else, for the civil war at least. But um, maybe... I don't know if I want to spend political power on Italy right now. Uh, acquire Italian weapons. I got plenty of guns. I got like almost 50,000 of them. I'm just pumping them out non-stop. Give me... Um... No, we don't really need this. Senator retires and took a bunch of dudes with him. Alright, that kind of sucks, but okay. We might play just up until the Civil War starts and then pause it there. How about that? So work with the Bund is ensures that the following states remain with the government in the event of a Civil War. Ohio, Missouri, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, and Michigan. Um, I don't know my American like geography here. The 10 million march. So the, the marches have started against us. So Michigan. No, this is Minnesota. Sorry. What? I'm, I'm going nuts here. Ohio, Missouri, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, and Michigan. Armory was raided. Mississippi, yeah. Let's go ahead and work with the Bund. Thank you. Wait, we should be able to do something now. No, we got Chief of Air Force. Yeah, this is a crap dude. I don't know why we would need that. Michigan. Oh, this is Michigan. I thought that was like a given that they were going to stay with us. Ohio, Missouri... I'm never going to remember this. House Committee supports us. Thank you. And Nebraska has... Okay, so Nebraska is not going to support us, I think. And we got a worker strike. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We can work around that. It's only for a few days. The 3rd of April. So it's like 30-day strike. So we're going to do this, recruit the free cores. After that, we could do this.
Uh, armory was raided. We're losing a few guns, but it's fine. We have like 50,000 of them. We are prepared. Uh, give me this. We are definitely prepared for this. So if I do... If I try this again, they approve. Okay. If I try Germany again, they refuse. Okay. Acquire Italian weapons. They send field guns. Our delegation in Italy reports a significant breakthrough in their attempts to secure more, mod more support for our cause. The Italian military has agreed to part with a number of old field guns and make them available for us. To avoid alerting the enemy, they will be held in storage at a secret location until the time comes. Okay. And that is, can I get more of those? Probably not. Okay. Ooh, we got the Tommy gun before the Civil War. I'm very, very happy about that. Uh, give me recon as well. Looks like we're going to have these things done before the Civil War kicks off. <laughs> this is nice. And then we do the free core. Senator from Texas offers support. Uh, yes. Build new munitions plant in Texas. I thought I was. I already am building, so... This one's gonna get completed no matter what. Build a military factory there. Yeah. No more strikes, but Illinois is now against us. But wait, Illinois is... Illinois is there. So they're not going to rise up against us, thanks to this. And Czechoslovakia has been butchered. And Zog submits to Italy. So Czechoslovakia is now just Slovakia, who is now a, a bitch of uh, Germany. Hungary is also in the faction with them. Are they allies? Yeah, Slovakia and Hungary. Italy is... yeah, they're going to join as well. No surprise there. Arizona, okay. Armory got raided. I, yeah, fine. Raid by armories. Was Arizona in this? No, Arizona is not in this. So working with the Bund is going to finish. Okay. Work with the Bund. So we're going to recruit the free cores. So when that is done, when the Civil War starts... Ah, excuse me. I've been talking for like an hour now. Uh, when the Civil War starts, we can get a lot more dudes. Which I appreciate. I really, really do. South Dakota. Okay. Things are kicking off. I can get that sheep. Ah. I suppose he's cheap. <laughs> I don't know if I need that. But it's fine. Man, 60,000 guns. So, 50 more days, and then this one is done. So, Ohio, they're not going to join, because, because working with the Bund, I remember Ohio was a part of that. Yeah, so we're fine there. Uh, 1939. Yeah, we'll just get all of the support companies, uh, level 2. Even though I don't have motorized, we could probably start doing that if I do... If I do this again. I'll, I'll trade for some rubber, that's fine. We'll take it from Brazil so we don't need to use any convoys. With some motorized, we could add uh, field, uh, field hospitals and logistic companies to my dudes when it starts. Soldiers are deserting and we get some representatives. We got the majority. We're fine. Change in popularity of fascism. We can push that ahead even more. We're at 35%. Extend the tax breaks. No, we, need to, we don't need to do that. So Italy has joined the German Reich. Germany and Russia have decided to carve up Poland between themselves. 
they have to conquer it first, but that's usually not an issue. More of my guns have been stolen. I wish there was an event or some way of stopping those raids. I really wish I could. So if I go for uh, the vo voter fraud thing here, we don't have to worry about Congress ever. We'll always have a comfortable majority. I'm fine with that. Uh, but because these ones are kind of shit. Recruit. So Utah has formed a militia. Okay, so this one is done. I'm going to do the Voter Registration Act, which would probably push us towards a civil war. And we got strikes. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm not going to fail this time. Promise. Ah, I can't promise. I can, I can try harder. <laughs> We'll go for synthetic stuff, that's fine. Uh, we'll go for you. Better artillery. Are we good? It looks a lot better this time around. Yeah, strikes, that's fine. Extend the tax break. I don't think we need to do that. There we go. Boston Rebellion. No one will take them seriously, this will blow over. Midwest declares for the government. As they should. So how many dudes do you have? Why do you have that many? <laughs> Why do you have that many? They have like no dudes there. Oh god damn it. Ah, this is horrible. So... By having too many infantry dudes, they just got a fuckload of guys. Let's make a fallback line here. Like, immediately. No, 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 no. Run, run, run. They have a lot of guys, but the West Coast has not declared for them yet. How are you supposed to fight against that? Like, honestly. Retreat. Uh, rebellion spreads to the West Coast. Yeah, that's what I figured was going to happen. So Germany is sending us divisions, and Italy is sending us divisions. Are they getting more guys? I should be able to raise the free core now. Strikes. One of the following must be true, is in a civil war. Strikes. Um, production in several factories has slowed down dramatically over the last few days, as the workers have declared a strike on all war production. Demanding peace and bread, they have so far refused all attempts to negotiate a settlement. Some in the government have advocated a sharp military response, followed by a swift execution of the ringleaders as enemy agents and traitors. However, others in the civil service have recommended a more measured approach, pointing out that a heavy-handed response may well backfire if the soldiers involved are not as loyal as we thought they were. 60% chance that order is restored, 40% chance we get a bloody Monday. Yeah, sure. Why not? So where are my dudes? Uh, raise the free core. 48 divisions. That is way, way better. Ah, uh, okay. But how, what kind of divisions are they? Oh, they're 10 wide. That's immediately better. But let's go ahead and pause it here, because I've been playing for an hour. So we're back at where we left things uh, in the previous campaign, where we... um. Started the Civil War, but we were able to do a lot more things. Um, for some reason, these guys had far more divisions than before. Probably because of my actions. Of making like 240 divisions. 
But all of these divisions should be three wide. Let's see, there's four divisions, and they have 10 to 14 dudes. Yeah, it should be 12. So all of these guys are only three wide. And I have some guns in reserve, so I can make all of my divisions a lot better than his almost immediately, which is awesome. And I just got 48 extra divisions that are all 10 wide for free. I think we'll be fine, but uh, time will tell. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, see ya. And thanks for watching this long, long-ass video. <laughs>